Pest 3 Fall 2022 coming at you. Chapters 6, 7, and 8. Let's do it. Number 1. Decide whether the experiment is a binomial experiment. If it is not, explain why. Alright, so if it is binomial, just say yes, it's binomial. If it's not, then you have to explain why. You draw a marble 1,000 times with replacement from a bag with three colors of marble. The random variable is whether or not the marble is blue. The colors of the marbles are blue, white, and black. So it's saying whether or not it's blue. So it's like success failure, right? So I'm just going to say yes. By the way, um, are there a fixed number of trials? Yes, you're drawing it 1,000 times, okay? And you're doing it with replacement. I should mention that. If it didn't say with replacement, there might, you might have some issues with the probability changing depending on how many you know marbles there are. So just keep that in mind. Number two, a business considers buying a new gadget for $1,200. The profitability of the gadget depends on the election. This sounds like an expected value question. If Rick Caruso wins, it's gonna happen 45% of the time. In that case, you're gonna sell the gadget for 2,600. If Karen Bass wins, that's 50% of the time, you'll sell it for 620. If someone else wins, you'll only be able to sell it for 220. Notice that the probabilities need to add to one. You have 0 0.45, 0 0.5, so you have an extra 0 0.05. So I want you to consider the random variable. I'm actually gonna find to define the random variable as the revenue. And I'm gonna do the whole revenue minus cost because it's asking for the expected profit. I like doing revenue and cost. So it's 2600, 620, or 220. That's how much money we're gonna make by selling it. This gadget which by the way our cost is 1200 so if you want to change this to profit just subtract 1200 from all three of these notice these second two will become negative you could be very fancy if you want because you know my step one is to define the random variable step two is to make the probability distribution so watch how fancy I am you insert table then four that's four two by four or four by two there we go so X P 0.5 let's do this let's make things look a little better boom we got the random variable defined we got the probability dish let's be bold and make those bold all right we could go to stack crunch and do this or we could just say the expected let's say revenue equals 2600 i'm gonna copy these plug those in control v i'm gonna get 1801.5 control c 1801.5 that's my expected revenue now my expected profit equals to my expected revenue minus my expected cost minus I think 1200 is the how much we paid for it. We're going to buy it for 1200. So there we go. 0.5. That's it. Steps one, define the random variable, make the probability distribution, and then calculate it. Question number three. If 15 teachers are randomly selected from a population that has 35% Hispanics, what is the probability that at most three are Hispanic? Be careful with at most. So at most is actually less than or equal to. So notice that I'm defining the random variable as the number of Hispanics. And notice that this thing is binomial because they're either Hispanic or not. We have 15, we have N, N equals 15. And we also have a probability of being Hispanic, 35%. We're looking for at most three. Boom, we have everything we need for a binomial distribution. So let's go. Stat calculator binomial, plug in 15.35, less than or equal to three. That's all folks. I think we can just press Control V and paste. We don't need to do all that fancy inserting stuff because I think Canvas is smarter now. Pizza delivery company. Guarantee if the pizza isn't delivered in 45 minutes, it's free. Basically, more than 45 minutes is late. The time it takes is normally distributed. Mean of 35, standard deviation 6. What's the probability that pizza will be delivered late? Notice that I'm saying X equals the time it takes to deliver the pizza, which is was normally distributed with a mean of 35 standard deviation of 6. Part A, what's the probability that it's delivered late? So I'm going to say probability that X is greater than or equal to, what, 45? With normal distribution, it always does greater than or equal to. Technically, we should say greater than. I mean, maybe we should write greater than because to be late, it has to be longer than 45. But stat calculator normal. I'm going to go for 35 mean. 6 standard deviation we want greater than or equal to 45 and there's your answer boom and it's that easy they get harder they get harder let's see oh that was only a all right part b let's say the pizza company wants a probability that they give the pizza away to only be one percent what should they change the time instead of 45 minutes Ooh. so part b we're gonna do something 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 or another we're gonna say probability that x is greater than or equal to, or let's say greater than 45 to be equal to 0 0.01. Hmm, 0 
that's the key that zero you're putting the 0 0.01 over here it's a probability probabilities go on the right values go on the left 45 is a value 0 0.01 is a probability promise to remember that values on the left probabilities on the right so we're gonna go to here we're gonna go 0 0.01 and my new time is 48 49 minutes approximately 49 minutes approximately we're changing the time from 45 minutes to 49 minutes for part B. So what's happening is they were giving the pizza away for free for 5% five, 5 of the time. They were giving the pizza away for free because the, the percentage was 5% right here, 0 0.05. And they wanted to, so we want to decrease the time or we want to decrease the amount of times we give away a free pizza. So only 1%, so now we're changing it from 45 minutes to what? 49 minutes. There you go. Next question. Assume the random variable x is normally distributed with a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 7. Find the 97th percentile. All right, so basically we want something like this right here. So we want the probability that x is less than or equal to something because percentiles is always that value or below. That value or below, so 97% are that value or below. So we're going to put the 97% on the right. It's a Per, it's a proportion when we're looking for that question mark which is in the value spot so notice that we have 50 and we have 7 so let's do it we're gonna put 50 and 7 we're gonna go uh, I think we're gonna put 0.97 over here that ladies and gentlemen will do we're gonna go right here press control V and be happy happily ever after the cost to buy a Bitcoin is uniform from 19 to 22 K. What is the probability that you buy a Bitcoin and the price is at most 21,805? So we're looking for the probability that X is less than or equal to. It does say at most. At most is tricky. It sounds like greater than, but it's actually less than or equal to. At most, it's the, it's an upper limit. So we have to go less than or equal to that thing. That's a, that's a valid, that's a valid, that, that's not a mid, man. That's a valid, so. That's X game status though, actually. That's X game status. All right, so, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna go with a uniform distribution right here. So let's try this. We're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go to stat calculator uniform. Go on 19 to, to 20, 19, one, two, three. I think it was 22, 22, one, two, three. We're going at most 21,805, I believe. We'll double check that, but I think I got it right. I think I can, I think I can. We're gonna go over here. 21,805 is correct. Control V at most 21,805. So we did less than or equal to 21,805. And that's it. Next one. This one's tough. It says 50. Ooh, this is a chapter eight question because we're, it says 40, 40 patients are found. Uh-oh. We have a sample, ladies and gentlemen. We're on chapter eight. We have a sample. So, deaths for elderly people with COVID in a city are found to be 3%. This is the hardest question on the test. This is the hardest one. If 40 elderly patients are found, what would the probability that at most two of them died? It says do not use the binomial calculator because we can easily do this with the binomial, but we are doing chapter eight on this one. So we want to deal with the proportion two out of 40, at most two out of 40. Ooh, it says at most again. Jeez, a lot of at most stuff going on. So at most two means two over 40, so that's a proportion. Let's do some fancy stuff real quick. Let's say that, can I do this? I don't know if I can do this. X bar, how do I get X bar? Can I even get an X bar, first of all? If you can't get an X bar, don't even worry about it. Ooh, look at that, there's an X bar right there, right when I needed it. X bar is approximately, let's see. Sheesh. Um, Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't even worry about what I'm doing, you guys. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Just don't try this at home. What was our sample size? Man, 40. 3% is the percentage. 40.03 comma. Don't try this at home. This is very, very tricky. Just kidding. Try this at home. 0 0.03. If you guys do this fancy stuff with like I'm doing right now, I will be... That's extra credit status. I'm doing extra credit status right now. If you guys literally do this equation editor like this, that's like insanely advanced technology, man. This is the mean P. This is the standard error. Square root P one minus P over N. Boom. Chapter eight on deck. Chapter eight coming at you with the chapter eight. And now we need to find, what do we need to find? Do I really want to teach you guys this fancy, no wait, oh yeah, I guess I do want that. I want probability that 
I didn't know they sold hats here. I want to get an SMC hat, by the way. Oh, uh, this is relationships. Relationships, man, they're hard. Uh, let's see, what do we want? Oof. Two over 40, right? I think that's at most, right? I mean, do we want less than or equal to? Technically, we want less than or equal to. So for my relationship, I could put less than or equal to if I really want to impress you. I want to impress you. And you want to... Oh, okay, okay. Boom, that's what I'm looking for. Wow. Hardest question on the test right here, you guys. This is it. This is the hardest question. I'm hoping because of this video, you guys will be successful on this question, though. By the way, this shouldn't be X hat. This shouldn't be X bar. I'm tripping. I'm tripping, y'all. Edit. This is actually P hat. All right. The problem, okay, yeah, yeah. Because we're not dealing with the mean. We are dealing with the proportion. Okay, this question is a proportion question. So, whoo, hard question. I almost even used the wrong symbol, but let's see. So we got, now I want to go to Desmos. I want to, I, now I plugged this in, see? So there's my standard error. See that? Control C, 0 0.03, 1 minus 0 0.03 over 40. So I'm going to go to the normal calculator, stat calculator normal. I'm going to put that standard error right there. I'm going to put 0 0.03 for the mean. And here, watch what I put, 2 over 40. Press compute. We have the likelihood to be 77%. That's the likelihood. That's the probability that at most two of them died. If you choose 40 patients that are of that that are elderly, the probability that at most two of them die is 77 or the likelihood, right? Probability, chance, likelihood, all the same. Whew. Tough question, y'all. Good luck. All right, question number eight. They get hard from this point on. The average test score on the final exam for a English course is 72. That's the average. With a standard deviation of seven. Now this one I can do X bar, right? So so mean of 72, standard deviation seven, sample size 30. So watch how I watch how I do this. Mean 72, standard deviation seven. Watch. So I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say insert equation. I'm gonna say this for you extra credit lovers. I'm gonna say X bar. hate when it does that maybe I have to press right arrow and then do this there we go and then I'm gonna say normally distributed the mean of 7 or was it 72 I think it was a mean of 72 standard deviation of 7 but I'm gonna do this let me get a fraction going and say what was it 7 over the standard deviation was 7 sample size square root of 33 I'm flexing a little bit I'm flexing a little bit with this with this equation editor you guys I'm flexing that's the x bar is approximately normally distributed the mean of 72 standard standard error this is the standard error i'm flexing on y'all okay what would be the, ooh now it's as ooh so it's even having me it's giving me the percentile yikes so this is a hard one so it's going to basically hmm we want the probability percentile means less than or equal to so watch hmm x bar Got it. So watch what I'm watch what I'm about to do. About to blow your mind. So probability that x bar is less than or equal to. Ooh, relationships. Relationships are so fun. Less than or equal to. And I'm gonna put question mark, and I'm gonna put equal to zero point what for the ninetieth percentile. What should I put? What should I put? Nine point nine. So that's basically what I am doing right now. I'm trying to find the probability that X bar is less than or equal to some value. Such a hard question. So beautiful. Chapter, chapter, you know, chapter eight. Because it's a sample of 33 students. What's the probability that their average score will be less than or equal to some value? We need that probability to be 90%. So we're trying to find the 90th percentile for the average. You know, that's this is an advanced question. But if you watch this video, I'm hoping it helps you. And it will. You guys, you guys are gonna do well. All right. So watch. We're gonna go here. We're gonna. So remember, 72, seven. Okay. So seven. I need. So I got seven over square root of 33. I'm gonna copy this right. Here. Control C. I'm gonna go here. Control V. Paste that in. I think I have 72. And I want. Oh yeah. I want to go over here and put 0.9. Oops. What happened? Control V. Press compute. Okay, so 73. Ooh, 73 makes a lot of sense because 72 is the middle, the mean, and 73 
Standard deviation is 1.2, so 72 plus 1, that's 73. 73.2 is one standard deviation away, but that's only 73.2, but we're at 73.6, so one standard deviation and then a little bit more, so that, that puts us at the 90th percentile. There we go, coming at you, coming at you. Number nine, we've got two more questions. This one is a conceptual question, conceptual question. Whew, all right, so you really... <laughs> Now, think about this, okay. So it says, the average time of Carl's workouts is some value between 100 minutes or below 100 minutes. So it could be 90 minutes, could be 95 minutes, could be 80 minutes, something below 100 minutes. I don't want you to solve this one. I want you to kind of just understand some concepts. That's kind of what I want you to do this one. I should say conceptual question on the top. I'll probably change it. What would be more likely, A or B? And then explain why, so watch. Uh, I'm gonna say a is more likely since easy explanation since the standard error is bigger standard error is bigger right or you could say since the sample size is smaller right so note when the sample size is bigger like for part B the average that the sample means means will be closer to the mean which is less than 100 and therefore less likely to be greater then 120 minutes 120 minutes what's that two hours right so first you needed to know that two hours is 120 minutes which is bigger than 100 so think about it you have you have a value less than 100 let's say 90 so you got 90 right and then you have to the right 120 now for the bigger sample sizes all of our estimates are going to be closer to uh, to 90 whatever that value is less than 100 they're going to be closer to, to 90 why? Because the dispersion is smaller. For higher sample sizes, the dispersion gets smaller. Okay? And that's kind of like the key. As the sample size increases, the dispersion gets smaller. Number 10, last question, extra credit. I'm not gonna do this completely, I'll give you some ideas. The average time for a runner to finish a mile is 310 seconds with a standard deviation of 20, got it. Times are normally distributed. Okay, normal distribution. Jose is training and he needs to complete 30 runs, got it. However, for a run to be accepted, it has to be within 300 and 330 seconds. How many runs does Jose need to do in order to get 30 accepted runs? So if I run 30 times, if Jose, let's say I'm Jose, if I run 30 times, some of them are gonna be accepted, some of them are not gonna be accepted. So I need to find X equals to, let's say X equals to the time of the runs, right? It's a random variable. It's normally distributed with mean 310, standard deviation 20, right? Let's say for fun, since I'm not, I want you guys to do this question. Let's say that's 0.1, 10%. So that means I gotta create some equation. 0.1 times times x equals to how many do we need? We need 30. So on the right hand side, that's how many runs I need. So you see kind of like what's going on with the percentage. It's kind of like a percentage question. This is a percentage question. And that, ladies and gentlemen will be it. Have a fun spring break. Good luck on test three. Peace.